antipodal points. Antipodal points, or also called just antipodes. Antipodes. Um, are points that the simplest way I can say it is are on exactly the opposite sides of a sphere. They're points, a pair of points that are on exactly the opposite sides of a sphere. So for example, you all know there's a famous pair of antipodal points, one on the top, the North Pole, and one on the bottom of the Earth, the South Pole. Um, for the sake of simplicity, we won't worry about the fact that there's different poles, there's like magnetic poles, and then there's compass, and anyway. Um, we will consider one North Pole and one South Pole. They are directly facing away from each other. Uh, another way of saying this is, if you were to join these two points, if you were to join any two antipodal points, what you'll find is that they pass directly through the center of the sphere. So what you've got is a diameter, right? Any antipodal points will do this. The interval between them will pass through the center and that interval will be a diameter. So if that's what an antipodal point, or that's what antipodal points are, how do you find them if they're not so easy like the North and South Pole? For instance, if I said, I'll put it here, I guess. If I said there was a point on the surface of the Earth, what does that look like? I don't know, I'd say something like 35 degrees north. So there's your latitude. And let's just say it's 110 degrees east. There's your longitude. How will you go about working the antipodal point for this? Hmm. Have a think about it. So you want this on the opposite side of the Earth, right? on the opposite side. We'll take it one step at a time. Let's think about the latitude first, and then we'll get onto the longitude. If this is from the equator, right, and from the, uh, yeah, from the center, you've measured up 35 degrees, okay? If you want a spot on the exact opposite side of the Earth, which direction are you going to go in? Down. You're going to go south, and how far will you go? You will also go 35 degrees. Right? Off to that side. So you can see it's through on the other side of the Earth. Naturally, if this was closer to the equator, something like, say, 10 degrees north, then you would only have to go 10 degrees south to be on the exact opposite latitude. Okay? Now let's think about longitude. This is a little bit trickier. 110 degrees. 110 degrees. If you were to go on the opposite side of the Earth, how many degrees would you rotate through to be on the exact opposite side? To, to end up, to measure all the way, it would be 180 degrees, right? Which is why there's the prime meridian on one side, and if you go all the way back around, it's 180 east or 180 west, okay? So think about this. We need to go 180 degrees in either direction. This is 110 degrees east. 110 degrees east of what? Of the prime meridian, of the Greenwich um, longitude, right? So if I were to travel, which direction do I need to travel in to get to Greenwich? West. So this means east of the prime meridian. Does this make sense? So here's Greenwich. You travel 110 degrees east, and then you'll get to this spot. Does that make sense? So to get back to Greenwich, you're going to have to travel 110 degrees west to come back to Greenwich and you've already traveled 110 degrees so how much further do you have to go? 70. Does that make sense? So you've gone all the way around 110 plus 70 that gives you a 180 which makes you on the opposite side of the world. Does that make sense? Okay so let, let's experiment with this right? We're suggesting if this is A, let's call that A, if B is the antipode or the antipodal point for A, it is at. We already worked out, okay, you're going to go down that way, so 35 degrees south. And then we said, okay, well, let's get to the antipode by spinning all the way around the world but passing through Greenwich, okay? The reason why I pass through Greenwich is everything is measured in relation to Greenwich, it's just going to be easier that way. So I'm currently 110 degrees east. I'm going to travel 
west to Greenwich, and then further to get to the opposite side of the world, which will give me 70 degrees west, because I traveled west that whole time. Does that make sense? Okay. So, there we go. Does it always work? Well, let's think about this. Let's pick another point. Let's pick another point. Uh, let's pick one in the southern hemisphere. Let's pick one quite close to the um, South Pole. So give me a latitude that might be close to the South Pole. What is the latitude of the South Pole anyway? 90. It's 90, right? Because you're measuring from the center. So 90 would be all the way. So maybe something close to that is something like, say, 80. How about that? That's, that's going to be in the Antarctic Circle. Is there such a thing? Anyway. So you've gone 80 degrees down. Okay, let's call this guy, uh, I called that A and B, so let's call this C, and we'll get an antipodal point called D. Okay. If C is at 80 degrees south, and let's give it some other longitude, what would you like me to pick? Something west, hey? Should we do something west? Sure. How about, this is a big angle, how about 37 degrees west? Let's just call it there, okay? Let's think about the antipodal point for C. It's on the opposite side, so let's think about latitude first. You're down the bottom here, you're in the southern hemisphere. Did you notice the antipodal point will always be in the opposite hemisphere? Unless, of course, you're on the equator, because then you're not on a, in either of the hemispheres. So where will I be? I'll be 80 degrees north, right? I'm going to be, you can literally see the line going up through the Earth, right? So you're going to be, D will be at... 80 degrees north. Okay, now let's think about this. You're on the, I'm actually gonna draw this because I'm waving my arms around too much. You are uh, 37 degrees west right now of Greenwich, okay? So if I say, let's make the prime meridian here. I'm drawing to the west, so that's to the left, right? Over here, that's where uh, C is, somewhere on this line. Okay, so I've gone 37 degrees west. So to get to the opposite side of the world, the antipodal point, I'm going to have to travel east, that 37. And then I've got to travel east a further amount to make it 180. What will the further amount be? 143 degrees east of the prime meridian. Does that make sense? Do you see what's going on now? So if you go all the way from C to D, you've traveled 180 degrees, that puts you on the opposite side. So far so good? So it's 140 degrees and you can see what direction I'm facing in. So I'll go back to this color now. This is 143 degrees east. Make sense? Are you happy? So think about longitude and latitude carefully and always think about a picture. It doesn't have to be a beautiful picture, just enough so that you can Work out some coordinates, right? Any questions about that? I made it up. I just picked a point on the earth. Yeah, so if this is where your original point is, this is where your antipode will be. So one of the things that you can see, if you look carefully, look for a pattern, right? See this guy and this guy? What's the relationship between 110 and 70? They're supplementary. They add to 180. And the same pattern is here. You see they add to 180, it's just they're on opposite sides. We don't tend to talk about eastern and western hemispheres, but I suppose if you did, that's what that refers to. Okay.